Baby, just a question, eh? no pressure. But I was thinking, allowance. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey, beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Use it, don't use it. Take it, don't take it. Do what you will with it. Hey, I'm not pro. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, how nice would life be? Nah! You know that you get your salary at the end of the month. So you're sleeping, 12, midnight, drink, drink salary there it goes and then immediately after that there's another one twing twing wifey allowance <laughs> that would be nice i can see myself just in the middle of the night going just beaming from the happiness because i'm just like yes <laughs> wifey allowance listen this whole thing about a girlfriend allowance or a wifey allowance is a whole situation it is a whole topic it is so heavy of a topic that i could not do it by myself so i asked you guys on instagram to let me know what do you think about the girlfriend allowance and the wifey allowance and the responses came in thick and fast and today we're going to go through eight thoughts and things we need to think about when it comes to the girlfriend allowance or the wifey allowance i'm even going to give you the motivation maybe you can take this build a case for yourself take it to your girl take it to your boyfriend or take it to your husband and just be like so let us maybe yes it's up to you. Now, if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram and look for this picture right here. It is in my Insta story highlights. Go to Edkopanishimange on my homepage. There's a little lavender circle that says how I do things. Click on it and let me know what topic or question you want me to talk about in our next video. But before we get into this one, there's this topic, there's this very sensitive matter that has to be addressed before we actually get into this video. And, and oh, it's so serious. Ooh, have you subscribed? Have you? Oh my darling, just subscribe. Just go down to the word that says subscribe. Click subscribe and join the family because every single day at 7.30 South African time, we go live with a brand new premiere of a new video, new topic, fresh out the box for you. So if you want to join us live, hit the notification bell as well so you know when we're going live. No matter where you are around the world, you're welcome, my honey. The morning party is filled with all types of women from all, all over the world talking about the topic we are talking about and it gets spicy heated and it is always fun so i'll see you there 7 30 south african time every single day i'll see you okay so before we even get into the thick of things in terms of what do we need to think about when it comes to this girlfriend allowance and wifey allowance thing let's start with number one what is a girlfriend allowance and what is a wifey allowance is it a must is it a not a must is it a choice is it what is it so basically it is an amount of money eh allocation of money that is given to you as the girlfriend or as the wife on a monthly on a weekly basis some some girlfriends some wives get a hoard of money like a stack and he's just like my baby do what you will with it okay other times it, it comes in like a salary at the end of the month it comes into your bank account debit order goes off and it gets transferred into your bank account other times it's it's something that comes in weekly and it's something that comes in cash it really just depends on you and your relationship as a couple there have been situations where a girlfriend allowance has really helped a couple move forward in life and i'll give you an example so you're dating this guy and he's already in corporate and you're trying to finish your degree and you really are struggling to pay for it and you've got your side gigs and all of those things trying to pay for your degree then your man comes around and he's just like you know what babe i can see that this thing stresses you so let me take over your university or college payments all right do we now see that as a girlfriend allowance or do we just see it as him helping because in many ways a girlfriend allowance is helping it's helping you to you know look good it's helping you to save it's helping you to get the couch that you want it's helping you to you know help with the car payments it's helping you to buy groceries whatever it is extra money always goes into helping anyway so where do we draw the line with this one on this episode it's not just about me dishing the tea but i also want you guys to dish the tea with me as well there's going to be eight different thoughts this is the first one is it a must do we see it as when somebody decides that let me take over the university payments for you let me take over the car payments for you so you have less stress 
Does that count as part of the girlfriend allowance or wifey allowance? Or do we just say that that is helping? And then number two, which is the other side of the coin. So in number one, we said that if you give me money and you help me out or you give me an allowance, I'll take it. It's a gift. I'll appreciate it. I'll take it. Thank you, baby. I love all the way to the bank. But the other side of the coin, which is number two, is why is it necessary? Why should a man pay me for having to be his girlfriend? Hmm. Now, let's see. If it is a must, if it is mandatory and a man feels as though, you know what? I feel as though I can't be your man unless I am giving you something. Do we now see this as our salary? It's almost like a job to be his girlfriend. I completely understand where this question is coming from because there might be some weird feelings around it. It's just like, you know, now I feel like I'm a salaried employee and my job title is girlfriend. So thought number three is that, listen, it's not cheap maintaining all it is. So it's only fair that you contribute towards it. I see this point as well. Because here's the thing, we get into a relationship and it does cost money. These wigs and these weaves don't buy themselves. This makeup does not buy itself. These clothes, you know, clothes run out, guys. You can't be wearing the same outfits over and over again. So looking good and feeling good costs money. And if your man really, really loves it and he wants you to maintain that look, you like the look, he likes the look, and he wants you to maintain it, then relieving some of the stress of paying for it helps. It goes a long way. Because if I had the extra cash, let me tell you what I'd do as a wifey. If I had the allowance for maintenance, let's talk about maintenance. Maintenance is, is also part of self-care. A lot of people don't say self-care, they say self-maintenance. So doing my hair, doing my nails, going to a spa day, getting a massage, you know, getting my feet done, just my appearance makes me happy. It makes me feel good. Whatever your appearance is, whether you're a person who does the nails or not, if you have dreadlocks that you need to have twisted every single month, if you need to go relieve the stress because you're a mom and you're carrying a baby all the time and you need to have your back clicked, you need to go see a chiropractor and you need to go see, you know, go to a yoga studio, pay for, pay for gym. All of these things are part of self-care and self-maintenance. So if a man is just appreciative of that and actually wants you to do everything that you want, and he contributes towards that, I love that. If I had the extra money, then I'd look exactly this, the way that I want to, knowing that I have a guilt-free budget. Here's the thing, you become a mom and you're just like, oh my gosh, every time I want to spend 3,000 Rand on myself, I think to myself, I could spend this 3,000 Rand on my baby. Mm, and you get a little bit guilty about spending that money on yourself. But if you had that extra budget that you know that this budget, it says me, it is all 100% for me and I can spend it guilt-free, then I would definitely look exactly the way that I want to look. Which is, I think that's a good motivation for the girlfriend and the wifey allowance. I like that one. And number four, it makes me feel needed, wanted, and appreciated in life. Money makes the heart happy. I get this. Here's the thing. The lack of money brings a lot of stress. It really does. Don't say it doesn't. You choose where you take your kids to school. You choose what dress you buy. You choose what food you eat. You choose how much petrol you put your car. You choose the car that you have. Depending on your budget, money limits us in many ways on the things that we want, okay? And also the things that we need. Sometimes we need things, but we don't buy them because we don't have the money for them. So when extra money is made available, it gives us convenience. It does. So when a person says, listen, here's some extra cash, it's like saying, here's some convenience. Let me make your life easier. Money makes you happy. I, can, I understand that. I think it gives you convenience more than anything else. So if you feel more appreciated because somebody is just like, listen, here, go spoil yourself. It's a gift anyway. So why not? And number five, it depends on how you manage the money in your house. A lot of the times couples put their money into one pot and then they separate it from there, which is a lot like how we do in our household. We both bring our income into the pot and we pay for our respective things that we need to pay for. And then afterwards we have our allocations for this is the money that you have and this is your money. And I like that. He has his own allowance and I have my own allowance, right? Do I think I need more in my allowance? I think I do because I am more expensive upkeep as a human being <laughs> so in that regard is it really called a girlfriend or a wife allowance if we're putting our money together in order to pay for things 
and then there's a specific allocation that is made for me where it is my money for me to spend it however i see fit when you're in a relationship it's not nice to always have to ask for money from your partner you want to go fill up the tank you're just like can i please have the card you want to go buy new clothes then you have to go ask for the card or ask for cash it gets quite irritating and it doesn't make you feel like you're your own independent person so an allowance lets you be able to spend when you want to and where you want to and how much you want to depending on your budget without always having to run after your man and be like yo please give me money for this number six go for an allowance is like black tax this must have come from a man <laughs> i don't think a girlfriend allowance or a wife allowance is necessary but it happens quite often that a man wants to pay for things man pays for dinner man pays for your dress man might just give you his whole card and say go spend on it so it really just depends on his perspective for me i think it has to be a gift if it is a gift and i don't learn to expect it then it's good but you kind of get used to it that every single month he's going to give you something so when the month comes and he doesn't give you anything, it gets a little awkward, doesn't it? So how do we then see black tax? Are we going to see that allowance is the same way? It's a gift, but it is not an expectation. Or is it because we get it all the time that we've kind of been trained to expect it? So when we don't get it, it gets a little awkward. Number seven is a good one. To save him because men don't save. Let's be honest, there are men who don't save. And many of the times I tend to think that women are better at saving than men are. Or at least at following our money and knowing where our money is. I remember seeing this one movie where there was this couple and this man was rich and he had a stay at home wife. But he went broke because he made some really nasty money decisions. And he was saved by his wife. Because in their marriage, over the 30 years they've been married, every time he gave her an allowance, she would save a very big portion of that money instead of spending it all. And because of that, she was able to save them with millions. That's something that's good. I've seen that in relationships. Now, sometimes you'd get into a relationship and your man is giving you money and instead of you spending it, you decide to yourself, you know what, I'm gonna save this cash because oh, there could be a day when this man needs some cash and it's not there. I will be the one to save him. And honestly, I feel like I want to be that type of wife that part of my allowance actually goes into saving, a secret saving account that my husband knows nothing about. And now that I've said it on this video, he's gonna know about it. But that actually, helps the family and you never know when a rainy day is going to come and then there's thought number eight which is i don't want to accept a wifey or a girlfriend allowance because i don't want to feel like i owe anyone anything and i want to keep my independence the biggest thing that we always think about when it comes to having extra money and getting a girlfriend allowance or a wife allowance is where does this go in our budget do we include it in all our money and say that okay fine i'm going to be using it for this or is this just extra money that I get to use and spoil myself? I would take it as extra money that I use and I get to spoil myself. Might not always be there. If it's there, it's great. But adding it into your budget means that should it ever disappear one day, it's going to leave a hole in your budget, which you're either going to have to fix or fill up one way or another. Look, the girlfriend and wifey allowance is something that is a bit of a muggy topic because there's always that thing of, if I'm giving you, what am I going to receive in return? Am I expecting anything in return? Am I getting paid or am I not getting paid? Is it a gift or is it a must? I want to hear from you. What do you think? Out of all of these eight things that we thought about defining the allowance, what is it? Is it a must? Is it not a must? I want to know from you which one stood out the most and how do you see the girlfriend and the wifey allowance? Do we need to justify those things so that we can go to our husbands and be like, listen, these are the reasons why I think that you should give me an allowance. Let's begin on Monday. Because <laughs> it would be nice. It would be nice. Now that's all I have for you guys on the channel the Tuesday talking about the wifey and the girlfriend allowance and all this whole video, all I want to hear is what you think about it. All right, so spill the tea in the comments but until next time gorgeous people thank you so much for watching the video and don't forget to like before you go until next time i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things
Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for making it right until the end. Now, if you have not subscribed, then just click on my face right here and you will be subscribed within the family. Now, every single day I have a brand new video at 7.30, so I hope to see you at the next one. If you have not gone to my website, here it is, www.kopanashimange.com. Make sure that you sign up and get my free ebook, which is the seven hacks to building your confidence. But until next time, thank you so much. Bye.